Uh, the black press of America uh, faces both challenges and opportunities. Uh, we come out of the print world, but now we're in the print world, the digital world, and the social media world. And I think that um, these uh, media platforms are not mutually exclusive. Uh, we are content rich, and as we innovate uh, and begin to deliver our print content in digital format, as well as make sure that we complement everything we do with social media, uh, we're going to continue to have impact. Today, in 2020, we have 230 African-American-owned newspapers. We've upgraded all of our websites. We have the largest now uh, black-owned digital network in the United States. So we, the, the future looks bright, and we're always looking for the right partners uh, to help us further innovate to distribute the content that we have. Yeah, I just want to say I'm very optimistic about millennials. Uh, uh, one of the things I want to point out over the last couple of years, millennials are going back to the print press. Uh, they've always been involved in innovative and the digital. So there's this now complementary aspect that's happening. We have 25% increase in black readership among millennials. Uh, some people say, well, millennials don't read. And that's not true. They right. do read. They do. They're looking for in-depth analysis, in-depth information. And to the extent to which the black community through the black press can provide that information, I, I welcome the return of millennials uh, to the black press. So I want to say in closing that the future of our nation depends on how well we uh, inform our young people. Uh, we want them to do well in STEM, science, technology, engineering, Absolutely. and mathematics. We want them to take advantage of how the marketplace is changing. So I'm optimistic because I see young people have a hunger and a thirst for information that will improve their quality of life.